Hello everyone, Mike Grimple from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to do a case sensitive XLOOKUP. So let's see how to do that in Excel. So here I have a list of names, salaries, and departments. But as you can see, some of them are in proper case like Tom here, and again in all caps. The same with Sue and the same with Joe. Now in a typical XLOOKUP, if I, for example, chose Tom here, it would return 66,100 because Tom 661, that works perfectly. I'm looking up E2, which is where Tom is, in column A and returning column B. But if I chose the Tom in all caps, it still stays at 661 because it is not case sensitive. So how do we do a case-sensitive lookup with XLOOKUP? Well, here are two examples of formulas to do that. We have XLOOKUP. We're going to look up the number 1, and the range we are looking it up is using the exact function. And then here we're going to return column B, which is the salary. The only difference with the lower one is I'm returning columns A through C, which is going to give me the name, the salary, and the department. So with those, if I look up Tom in lowercase, you see I get the 66.1 in both. But if I choose Tom in uppercase, notice I get the 26.9 with Tom in sales, and those work perfectly. So let's walk through this formula and see how it works. We're looking up the number one within this range of exact. Now how does exact work? If I take a look at equals exact, we'll just check whether two strings are exactly the same. And you just have text one and text two. So if I had, for example, five comma five, it's just going to give me a true. If I had five comma six, it's going to give me a false. So it's just comparing two numbers, two strings, two text strings, whatever, to see if they are exactly the same. So if we go back to our formula here and we look to see what exactly this is returning, I'm going to compare A2 to A9, which is the list of names, with text 2, which is Tom, which is what I have in yellow here. So when I compare those two, I get a series of trues and falses. In this case, Tom, in all caps, is the fourth one that matches. So I have false, 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 true. And when you multiply one times a false, you get zero. When you multiply a one times a true, you will get a one. So in my X lookup, my lookup value is 1. My lookup array, when I hit F9, I get 0, 0, 0, 1. So when you look up 1 in that, it's going to return the fourth item. And what is the fourth item in my return array? It's 31, 6, 66, 1, 45, 1, 26, 9. And Tom in all caps, that salary is 26, 9. And that's exactly what this returned. And that is how this formula works in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy Excelling.